Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome back to Only One Command, Minecraft Redstone Series, Command Block Creations, Only Take One Command, I really cool things to your world! Today we're doing Survival Plus, which is a vanilla mod that you can add to your world created by TPC Bonehound. Download the description below that add six awesome items to your survival world to make survival a little bit easier. Full disclosure, friends, some of these things are overpowered. This is not for the serious player, in my opinion. It's for someone that maybe wants to make their survival experience just a little bit easier, get rid of the grindy aspects. Items like mining helmets, diving helmets, giga drills, excavators, flippers, and a special end item that will blow your mind. Or maybe not. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this Only One Command. Drop a like on the video if you do and you want to see more Only One Commands on the channel. Once again, big thank you to TPC Bonehound. His link will be in the description of this video. So will the following command, which you'll place into a command block. If you're wondering how to get yourself a command block, it is slash give at PCOMM. Press tab on your keyboard, which will allow you to get this command that you see down here. And then press enter. And that's how you get the command block. Now once you've done that, grab some way to power set a command block. And put it right next to the block with the command that has been added in to said command block. Wow, that was a mouthful. And just like that, as you've come to know, love, a little module will be added into your world and then a final boop. Oh, isn't that just adorable? I'll tell you what, it really was. Once again, the Penguin Conspiracy. Well, that's, I didn't realize that that's what that stood for. That's pretty sweet, dude. All thanks to him. So, now just installed into your world, you now have crafting recipes that are enabled that will allow you to get your six new items. And we're going to be covering those right now. So, uh, oh yeah, subscribe. Thanks. So we're going to be covering these in an order that makes sense. We're going to start, of course, with the wearables. We're going to move into some of the tools that you can add. And then finally, we have the little finale, which uh, I'm not trying to hype up. Trust me, it's not it's not that great. We're just doing it last. Whatever. The first thing we're going to show you is the mining helmet. Now, in order to make yourself a mining helmet, you're going to need a couple different things. You're going to need yourself a crafting bench. You're also going to need to grab yourself a diamond helmet. It's going to cost you five diamonds. And then you're going to need yourself a redstone torch. So I'd say in terms of ingredients required, you're going to need five diamonds. But the rest of it's pretty simple. Now, in order to craft all these new items, not just this first one, but all of them, they need to make sure that all the items are dropped onto a single zone. So drop your helmet, your crafting bench, and your redstone torch just like that all together in one spot. And you'll see that nothing is happening. And that is because I am completely wrong. It is not a crafting table, which makes zero sense. I totally pooped and derped. It, it's a redstone lamp. A redstone lamp, a redstone torch, and a diamond helmet. And that will make you your mining helmet. And you can see in the dark with it. So not only do you get an iron helmet, but it is indestructible. And we're going to switch time. Set night right now. That is not a command. That is because I typed in yime. Whatever. Let's just not worry too much about it. And we're going to add 6,000 just, just for the heck of it. So now we're in the middle of the deep old dark. But when you put on your mining helmet, shabadoo shabadee, you now have night vision. And oh my gosh, does it make this skybox look disturbing. Holy wow. So you now have infinite night vision for as long as you're wearing the mining helmet, night vision 2 to be exact. And you'll notice if you take it off, the mining helmet's night vision effect will slowly begin to not work. I like how it like starts to blink and then boom, just goes back as if nothing happened. We're going to wear that again and I'm going to just quickly go into game mode 3 here. Game mode 3, not 23, that is not a thing yet. And let's just find ourselves, wow, nice cave system. My God, this is pretty good. So right into a cave system we go. You can see we have zero torches. Zero. We'll take off the night vision and you'll see what happens here. We're losing the night vision slowly but surely. And how long are we? Okay, four, three, two, one. And then shabadoo shabadee. It is now dark. You can't see anything, this and that. Now keep in mind when you wear the mining helmet, yes, you'll get night vision, but that does not prevent mobs from spawning. So it is a not not a total torch replacement that is something to keep in mind when you are making yourself the mining helmet so just remember that now that is the mining helmet now, probably the coolest thing about it is it is in fact unbreakable you can take damage with this thing in fact i'll show you that's that's adequate game mode game mode settle look at it. no damage it will oh geez hey there's a mob right there we go switch back to game mode okay anyway let's move on to the next helmet which is the diving helmet now, if you're wondering how to make the diving helmet, well, it is simple enough. You're going to need to grab yourself first and foremost a glass bottle, which we have right here. You're also going to need to get yourself a plain old glass pane. And then bada boom, bada bing, 
what would you think? Another diamond helmet, right? Right. So you're going to drop all these babies onto the same square, and you'll get yourself a nice diving helmet, which looks just like the mining helmet, except it's not. Now, the diving helmet works in a similar fashion. You have infinite water breathing. So we're going to just jump into the... Whoa. What the heck? Look at this. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> okay. Hey, little zombie child. So when you have the diving helmet on, you won't lose any of your water bubbles down there. And it lasts infinitely as well. And as far as I'm aware, the diving helmet is also indestructible. So there's nothing you can do to cause yourself to lose any health. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Yeah. Just. Okay. So doesn't take any damage, as I thought. So the diving helmet is going to be very useful if you're doing any underwater projects, this and that. Now, speaking of diving, the next thing I want to show you are the flippers. That's right, there are also flippers. That's Survival Plus, the command. Sounds like a movie. Survival Plus, the command. Adds into your Minecraft world, and in order to make yourself flippers, you're going to need the following. You're going to need to grab yourself a water bucket, a feather. Not sure why you'd need a feather, but you know, you don't, want to, don't want to worry too much about it. And then you're going to need to get yourself some diamond boots. Now you're gonna drop all these. You, you getting it? It's 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 a pattern that you'll soon come to understand. You get yourself some flippers. Now flippers are really cool because they just simply add the equivalent of Depth Strider three. You now have like Depth Strider three when you are just you know walking around and this and that. You can see you move substantially faster with these suckers on. Now you see it doesn't actually show the enchantment on here, but you can see that you are visibly moving far quicker compared to not wearing the boots. So we'll take the boots off, and you can see you are much slower. You're just at a crawl. So this is a way to get yourself Depth Strider fairly easily, fairly quickly. You know, it's not like you're turning your, well, I mean, I guess they're not diamond boots, so it is costing you diamond. But to have diamond, four diamonds is a very low cost to get Depth Strider three. I would say fairly early on, you don't even need enchanting, you don't need levels, you don't need lapis, you don't need enchanting table, you don't need this or that. So those are the three wearables that Survival Plus will add if you add this command to your world. Now it's time to show you two awesome tools that you can add to your world as well. It's going to make mining and shoveling away this and that a breeze. And no one likes to do those things. So if you decide that this is not too OP for your taste, then you can add. The first thing I want to show you is the excavator. Now the excavator is a very interesting crafting recipe. You're gonna need to grab yourself a stone button, a TNT, and get this, a golden shovel. And you're gonna throw all these things on top of each other, just like that. You'll get yourself a golden shovel, or you won't get yourself, <laughs> you'll get yourself an excavator. Now the excavator, clear huge areas of land, only works on dirt, but clears all blocks, no dropped items intended, his use is, I don't, no dropped items, Intended use is clearing areas. Place in knife slot. So we're going to get out of creative mode right now. And you can see it is also an unbreakable tool. You will not be able to break this diamond shovel no matter what you do. Which is useful in and of itself. But the magic happens when you put it in your ninth slot, which is your last slot. And you can see here, wherever dirt entities are found, it will clear blocks in that area. Not only that, but if you find yourself breaking a grass block, it will clear that area as well. One thing to keep in mind though, is the excavator can be a little bit finicky with how it handles dirt and grass block items. Not the block itself, but the items you get from doing it. So you'll see it actually detects the earth and grass block items and that is what causes it to remove things. So if I were to, do you see? You see what I mean? So regardless of if you're actually using the shovel or not, that is something you're gonna have to be wary of. But one of the really interesting things about the excavator, and you'll see here, is look, you see, I'm gonna break this stone. It's a slow process, but I'm gonna do it. Once it breaks, nothing happens, right? But if you were to have a dirt here, and then all the stone around it, and you mine this dirt, look at that. So that brings interesting concepts to what you could, in theory, use this excavator for. I think it's time we headed to bedrock. Using this to your advantage, there are ways for you to clear dirt and things of that nature extremely, extremely quickly. So check this out. We're near bedrock level, 
We should be approaching it very soon. I'm gonna be extremely upset if I, there we go. So check it out. We got some bedrock here. Using the excavator, you can actually delete. You can delete bedrock. I'm gonna break this block too. Now, in my opinion, this is not a good thing and is more than likely an oversight made by TPC Bonehound. So maybe in the future it will change. But as it currently stands, that is a way for you to break bedrock, to get underneath, and I don't know why you would want to, because you'll fall to your death. Or you could use it to break above the bedrock in the nether. And, you know, get your pig farms going off. That'd be good. Yeah. So that is the excavator, and it is one of the two tools that Survival Plus adds. Unbreakable shovel. Pretty OP effects. The next tool is going to be the Giga Drill. That's right, the Giga Drill. I ain't even messing around, Matt. That's what it's called. It's pretty crazy. Now, this is going to change the way you mine in craft. Well, mine in Minecraft. It's pretty expensive, at least compared to the other re recipes that this mod adds. You're going to need to grab yourself a emerald block, a redstone torch, a single diamond, and then a golden pickaxe. Now you're gonna drop all these things one by one right on top of each other here. Boom, 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 boom. And you'll get yourself the ex not the <laughs> worst guy, the Giga Drill. The fastest drill in the world. Place it in the ninth slot. Well, you technically don't have to place it in the ninth slot because right off the bat, it does in fact come with efficiency 10. So if you make your way over to the smoking crowd, the club is the sky and I'm on your cloud. I'm just kidding. I'm thinking of Lonely Island music. You can see that this pickaxe is going to mine absurdly fast. Look at this. It's pretty much instantaneous. But... Place this sucker in your ninth slot, and you get yourself a haste three effect. Now, it is literally instant, at least for almost all blocks, but check this out. You ready? We're going to bust out the obsidian right now. It's going to be good. We've got a delicious stack of obsidian here. We're going to just place down a few, and using the Giga Drill, which, by the way, is also unbreakable. You ready for this? This is obsidian. And look, don't misclick, otherwise... <laughs> You start going crazy. You can literally build an obsidian house and you, you could remove it faster than you would be able to remove normal stone with a regular pickaxe. I gotta say, this is pretty crazy. Again, extremely overpowered. This is gonna be for the power builder. You wanna have a survival world, but you still kind of wanna earn it, but you don't wanna spend your whole life basically mining stone. So it does have its uses. I personally wouldn't use this for my survival because it kind of... Well, no, it's extremely overpowered, but I'll tell you this. It is also a lot of fun. Oh man This would cut through like butter in the nether if, if, if it's not already fast enough Now you can see you can actually mine even faster than you normally could on things that aren't stone as well such as dirt So, you know, you'd still want to get a shovel for most things and of course if you got the excavator here check it out boom you just start clearing things out like a madman. Extremely useful for your building projects. Are you ready for the ultimate finale? I said, are you ready? Well, it's it's like it's actually it really isn't anything special. Like I don't mean that to be mean, Bonehound. It was kind of anticlimactic, but it is part of the mod nonetheless, and it will be useful for some people. But you're gonna need to do a little bit of work, assuming you do this in survival mode, before you can get this final item. The items you're gonna need are an iron bar. You're gonna need to grab yourself raw beef you're gonna also need to grab yourself leather and then the final item you're gonna need which you can either get in survival mode properly or you can get yourself in creative mode by typing slash give at p d r a g press tab press enter that's right a dragon egg now you think this is crazy let me show you what you get by combining a simple iron bar a simple raw beef a simple leather and arguably the, one of the harder items to get a dragon egg. What do you get? Well, you get yourself a cow spawner. Now you're probably thinking, well, what does a cow spawner do? Well, <laughs> it adds in a cow spawner. Now I'm in creative mode, but if you were to do this in survival mode, you would note you get one of these and that's it. <laughs> you have successfully wasted your dragon egg, in my opinion, on a cow spawner. Although, in theory, the dragon egg, as of 1.8, has no use 
we'll see what happens with Minecraft 1.9. TPC Bonehound said in his version of this review that there is a chance you can get more dragon eggs in 1.9 by killing the Ender Dragon. Uh, however, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Dinnerbone said something along the lines of, yes, you can kill the dragon more than once, but you won't get the dragon egg more than once. You'll get something known as Dragon's Breath instead of the dragon egg. So it is your choice if you want to use the dragon egg to get yourself a cow spawner using this. But I would recommend not. However, <laughs> it is still in the command, so I figured I would do my part by showing it to you. But that is all six of the items that Survival Plus adds into your Minecraft world. We had ourselves the Giga Drill, the Excavator, Flippers, Diving Helmet, and of course, the Mining Helmet, and of course, the Cow Spawner. So, six awesome items to add to your world using only one command. Hopefully, some of you guys find this useful. Once again, a big thank you to TPC Bonehound for this really sweet survival command thing. Uh, again, it's it's for fun. You know, you got, that's how you got to look at it. It's a fun thing. It's not for the serious players, but it's a lot of fun. I encourage you to check it out if you feel like making your survival world just a little bit easier. And if you enjoy this one, command, do drop a like on the video. It means so much to have your support for the series. Of course, subscribe for future Minecraft videos, including more Only One Command. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you later. Okay, bye.